Barack Hussein Obama was born on August 4, 1961 in Honolulu, Hawaii. His father, originally from Kenya, and his mother from Kansas, divorced when he was two. His mother then remarried and they moved to Indonesia. Several incidents in Indonesia left Barack's mother afraid for his life, so she moved him back to Hawaii to live with his grandparents. There he attended the prestigious Punahou Academy where he excelled in basketball and graduated with academic honors. Eventually, he went to study political science at Columbia University. Once he graduated, he moved to Chicago where he became the director of a church-based advocacy group that worked toward social change and empowering minorities. Later, he went to Harvard Law School and later wrote a memoir titled The Dreams from My Father, A Story of Inheritance. Meeting Michelle in Chicago, they later married and Obama earned a spot on the Illinois Senate. In January of 2009, Barack Obama became the 44th President of the United States of America. At the time of the election, the economy struggled with many banks beginning to fail and close. Once elected, President Obama passed the $787 billion stimulus bill to help failing banks. He also extended the insurance on unemployment. By the end of his first term, the unemployment rate was said to be at its lowest point in three years. Helping the lives of all Americans is a common theme in the presidency of Barack Obama. He tried to settle several controversial issues, but the most controversial was his plan of Obamacare. Obamacare was a plan for everyone to have health insurance. Obama spoke at a convention claiming that his new plan will improve more security and stability and it will slow the growth of health care costs for our families, our businesses, and our government. With every issue has a second opinion. There are those people who disagreed with Obamacare because they didn't think it was fair to force people to have insurance. Along with Obamacare, Obama pushed for legislation to pass that allows same-sex marriage. He showed his disagreement with Proposition 8, which stated that marriage is only between a man and a woman through his inaugural address. Our journey is not complete until our gay brothers and sisters are treated like anyone else under the law. For if we are truly created equal, then surely the love we commit to one another must be equal as well. On May 27, 2010, the National Security Strategy was released. This laid out ways to hold American interests, like the security of the American people, the support for American values, and the rise in the U.S. economy. America began to focus their efforts on Afghanistan and Pakistan because that is where the Taliban and Al-Qaeda were located. In Afghanistan, we had a plan to increase troop levels, revitalize their economy, and demand that their government be more strict with corruption going on within the country. In Pakistan, we had a goal to increase non-military aid and hold Pakistan accountable for the security in the border region of Afghanistan. Obama passed a law to stop the smuggling of weapons of mass destruction, introduced a bill to prevent nuclear terrorism, and strengthened the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. Obama took on the responsibility for ending the war in Iraq. He built an international coalition to stop the massacre in Libya and support the people in overthrowing Muammar Gaddafi. He also signed the Strategic Arms Reduction th Theory and refocused American foreign policy on the Asia Pacific. Although we do not know what legacy Barack Obama will leave, as he is still in office, we can predict what President Obama will be remembered for. Obama was the first black president, something our country never thought they would see. However, he got off to a rough start as people did not believe that he was an American citizen. People thought that his birth certificate was forged, as it said that he was born in Hawaii, but there were rumors circulating that he was born in Kenya, while other rumors said that he became a citizen of Indonesia at a young age, therefore losing his United States citizenship. Although President Obama may have done a few noble things in his presidency, like successfully fighting to prevent federal student loan interest rates from doubling for more than 7 million students and capping federal student loan repayments at 10% of income. Also, Obama was in office when Osama bin Laden was killed. Good evening. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda and a terrorist who's responsible for the murder of thousands of innocent men, women, and children. It was nearly 10 years ago that a bright September day was darkened by the worst attack on the American people in our history. The images of 9-11 are seared into our national memory. Furthermore, Obama is in the process of putting in Obamacare, which is very controversial. Obamacare allows for the government to tax the richer people more money and use their money to pay for the health insurance for the people who are uninsured. 
In January 2012, the unemployment rate fell to 8.5%, the lowest it has been in three years. Although Obama has created controversy, there is no doubt that he is more determined than anyone to make the United States the best country in the world. It doesn't matter who you are, or where you come from, or what you look like, or where you love. It doesn't matter whether you're black or white, or Hispanic, or Asian, or Native American, or young, or old, or rich, or poor, able, disabled, gay, or straight. You can make it here in America if you're willing to try. We remain more than a collection of red states and blue states. We are and forever will be the United States of America.